right guys so global just got a data download a few hours ago that included the new goku youth that's the secrets of the dragon balls category leader pasta assets for the new story event to get those characters along with the awakenings for old peppy gals category units along with the prime battle vegeta and on awakening for super red brand now, the story event units, the pasta, and Goku should be coming around next week, if I had to say next Monday or Tuesday, at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard. Let's go over the pasta real quick. So she's an extreme int type leader of two key 40%. She causes supreme damage, lowers attack, and key two, at the start of turn, medium chance to evade enemies attack, including super attack. An attack that enemies minus 80% for 2 turns and medium chance of sudden D attack the enemy for 2 turns. She'll be somewhat decent for the Peppy Gas Super Bad Road stage because she is a you are when you awaken her normally. But what I know is that she's not going to tank very well. So you might need to prioritize dodge for her and a little bit of additionals for her lowering attack. Since she already has a medium chance of evading attack, just give her a little bit more dodge so she can dodge more frequently. And she's not going to hit very hard so at most she's going to be a third uh, unit on a rotation. Now to Goku, he's only going to be in his SSR form or just regular UR form when you awaken him from the SR. So think of it like the LR Android 17 and 18, except this one is obtainable through a story event. The LR 17 and 18 are through the Friend Summon banner. So at this, at this moment for Global at least, he's just going to be key to and 30% to Dragon Ball Seekers category. Causes supreme damage and seals super attack. And he randomly changes key spheres to a certain type. Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow. And attack 10% and two key when rainbow key spheres are obtained. So he's going to be somewhat of a little nuker. And then he's going to be getting progressively stronger through his awakenings. And this is going to be the story event that's going to be in the news in around a few days saying, hey, come check this event out. There's going to be a few stones, about 12 stones they can obtain. These are rubies. You can use them in the barber shop to obtain outer kais or anything that you might need to complete the event. And then awaken the SR K Goku into the SSR. And then eventually he will become an LR. And then what I'm guessing is like Secrets of Dragon Ball category will increase your drop rate based on this. So hopefully you have enough units by then to make this grind actually a lot easier. Now for this K Goku. What I recommend you do is farm at least four, 15 of these Gokus. One as your base, nine others for the SA-10, and then for the others, awaken them, and then feed the pads in. It's going to be a little bit easiest, but again, with the secrets of Dragon Ball category units, make a team, and then just farm the just do the event, the stage one of the event, a few times you should get enough copies. And then the medals, I'd say about 10 to 20 medals will be needed to awaken the Goku. I might be mistaken on that, but that's how it's going to work starting either Monday or Tuesday of next week. So if we look over here on the calendar, yeah, if it's on the 25th at 10.30 p.m. Pacific, 
if you're on the eastern coast, like in New York, Pennsylvania, you're going to start at 26, around 2.30 a.m., but just to your time, frame, time zone. Now, starting around March, the Peppy Gals um, story event that includes the Super Red Rian is going to get an update to include new medals to awaken certain units like the Super Red Rian and a few others. But before, well, during that same time period, there's going to be a be a Peppy Ghost banner dropping that will include new units like this GT. She's actually pretty good. Anti physical type key 350%. You don't see multiple type leaders anymore. So she's she's alright. A little bit okay for her Dokkan Battlefield. Causes supreme damage and medium chance of stun. Attack plus 180%. So she has the same attack buff as our Super Saiyan 3 Goku with his 18 key multiple with his 18 key super. And attack minus 60% for three turns after receiving an attack. So at most, if you're going to have her be attacked, she's going to get 120% to attack. That's not too bad, but she's not going to be able to defend very well, so you gotta be careful if you're gonna be running her. Like on a Puppy Gals team. But then again, I don't think she's on a Puppy Gals category because she's a kid. I might be wrong on that as well. Now, a few awakenings that's going to come from this event is the Infidel. She's going to become an instant SDR key 360% leader. She'll cause supreme damage and lowers attack and defense with her super attack. And attack and defense 50% for Peppy Gals category ally on the team. So at most, maybe around 75% attack and defense, up to 90% attack and defense. And attack the enemies to attack minus 20% for two turns and requires it covers 20% of damage dealt as HP. So if you're in a bit of a pinch, she is going to make sure that. She defends very well, she attacks very well, and uh, she mitigates damage along with recovering health, which she's like a complete unit, sort of. She's going to be really good, but she won't link very well with uh, the Happy Girls category team. Next up is the STR GT fan that released on the two year anniversary. Attack and STR key 360%. Her super attack causes supreme damage and raises defense by 30% for takes 6 turns. Chance of evading enemies attack plus 15% and starting resharing up to 60% so she's going to be tanking a lot after 4 to 5 turns. And attack 70% and defense will harm 20% for 7 turns from start of turn. That's a pretty pretty good passive. She's going to be defending very well, she's going to be attacking very well. And since fights normally last up to 7 turns, maybe up to 6, she'll basically have her passive about 90% um, active for every fight. Depending on if you're going to be selling the fight to activate a certain unit's passive, things like that. She has okay lengths, to say the least. At least she has shattering a limit and innocence. Next up is AGL Future Mai. AGL Int key 360%. Causes supreme damage with great chance of stunning the enemy. All allies key 3, AGL type, attack and defense 20%. The all allies key 3 will benefit greatly on Peppy Gals, but not the AGL type, attack and defense, because there's not a lot of AGL types on the Peppy Gals team. And Peppy Gals categories allies have chance of performing a crit plus 10%. So whenever she's on rotation, she's going to ensure that at least well, all of the Puppy Girls allies on that rotation at least get a chance to crit. It doesn't mean everyone will just crit automatically, it's just a chance, the chance there. Next up the 
Android 18. Attack and physical key 3, 60%. Constant supreme damage and basic attack and defense by 30%. Attack and defense 14%. Per keys we obtain, additional attack and defense plus 1% per Peppy Girls category ally on the team. So at most, if you run her on a full Peppy Girls team, attack and defense 20% or 90% per keys we obtain. That's gonna be pretty, pretty good. So, what I would recommend for her is additionals and a little bit of crit just to get higher chance of uh, raising the attack. And then this new Brianna Chateau will be dropping with the Pepper Girls banner. She's going to be the best leader for it of key 3 100%, supreme damage and steal super attack. Raises attack up to 100%, the more HP, the greater stats. And all allies attack minus 5% per category, Peppy Girls category ally on team up to 50%. She's going to be a pretty good unit for the Peppy Girls Super Battle Road. But you're not going to be running her on Super in very, very much, so she her only realistic team would be Peppy Girls. And then the final one, the STR Super Ribrian, key 388%, causes supreme damage and lowers attack, um, defense, I'm sorry, and attack and defense plus 20% for Peppy Girls category ally on the team, so up to 120%, and recovers 8,888 HP for rainbow keys we obtained. I recommend you rainbow her if you haven't completed Super Battle Road yet. She's going to be hitting hard on that team, and that Super Battle Road is a lot easier than the other Super Battle Road stages. So if you need to at least do 20 stages to get one of the other 8 Gokus, make sure you do this one, and make sure you rainbow this Rebrian. And the final part would be the LR Prime Metal Vegeta. What I would recommend is bringing the Ginyu Force and then running this event over and over again until you have at least 14 copies of this Vegeta. And it's gonna be your choice on whether or not you wanna spend other Kai's to get the LR Vegeta once the LR to SA20 or you want to grind about a l nine to 10 more copies of the base one Vegeta and then awakening the Vegeta again to LR to feed them in. Personally, I would just take the 10 Articais and leave it as that. That's too much of a grind. And then the LR Super Saiyan Vegeta is a pure Saiyan's category 3 key 70% stats. So he's going to be a Good leader if you don't have Evolution Blue or AGL Battle Broly. On his 18 key, he greatly raises attack for one turn, causing Mega Colossal damage. Attack 15,000 and defense plus 20,000, an additional 15,000 attack, and launches two additional attacks for four turns after receiving an attack. What I recommend for Vegeta would be a little bit of additional, a little bit of crit. Uh, at least to 5 dodge. That way you have a mix of everything, you have a mix of crit, you have a chance of launching additional super attack with the like 8 additional or 10 additional that you may put on this Vegeta because the 2 additional attacks that will be launched will not have a chance to become a super attack, it will just be a normal attack. And then he has good links like Super Saiyan, Prodigy, Saiyan Fried, and Shadow Jung Limit. He's going to link well with the LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Just because of Shadow Jung Limit, Legendary Power, and Super Saiyan. So that's what the data download included for Global. The Peppy Gals 
stages and awakenings will start either on the 25th or 26th, depending on your time zone. And then the prime battle event will start around next week, either the 3rd or 4th. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.